Hello and welcome to the first Python tutorial we're going to do for Moore ICT. In this tutorial we're going to be making a clicking game. So if I just demonstrate what this game is, I'll quickly move it over here. So right now I have a button, we're using Python and Tkinter. So I have a button that's in yellow and I have a label that just says message. So I'm just going to click on it and it's just basically going to um, run a function in the background and tell us how many times I've clicked on the button. Okay. So this is going to be just a basic introduction to Tkinter and then we're going to move on to make more interesting and fun projects going forward. Uh, right now I have a folder called Python Tkinter on my desktop. I dragged and dropped it onto my Visual Studio code and from inside of this I can actually make my project files. So I'm just going to right click here and say new file. I'm going to call it Python app.py. Okay, so that's just going to load up, um, basically relate this file to a Python application. So next time when it opens, it will know that this is a Python file, right? So inside the Python, we first we're going to import tkinter. So I'm going to say from tkinter import everything. Okay, so we're just going to import everything for now. Uh, we don't need anything very specific for this, so we're not going to import anything specific. Okay, so let's go and um, call a root, so we're going to say root is equal to tk, like so, and then do the brackets. So the tk is the main class that's inside of tkinter, that's basically going to load up all the GUI stuff that we need for this application. right? And we also need a size for the application, so we're going to say root dot geometry, and inside of that it accepts a string variable, so we can say 300x300. Okay, And notice we don't need any semicolons or anything, end of the line. Okay, right after that, we also need to put a title for the root window. So again, it's a root dot title, right? And inside of that, we're going to say no or ct button like that. Okay, so hopefully that will make it things a little bit easier for us to read. All right, uh, we need a variable called say a number, right? And number number is equal to zero. So this variable here is going to keep track of how many times we click on the button. Right, and then end of the line here, I'm going, to, I'm going to come back here to add the, add the button function later on. Okay, and that's how we actually comment in Python with the hashtag in front of it. Okay, but first we're going to need to add the GUI elements that we need. So I'm going to call this one clicking button is equals to button, and then we're going to link it to the root. Right, and then this one's going to have a text that says click me. Like so, do another comma here, and then we'll just give it a little bit of a padding, add x to 50, add y to 50, so it looks a little bit bigger, right? Uh, we can give it a command, but before that we can say bg is going to be gold, so we need to be a goldish color, right? And we can also set the font, oh, we're still inside of that, we can also set the font for this one to say, um, give it a real, Right, and then size let's say 22. Let's try that. I'm going to make it slightly bigger this time than it was in the last one. Okay, so that's the button configuration that we need. Um, right after that, we're going to also need a label. So say um, show info let's go to label. Right, and inside the label, we're going to link it to the root again. Right, text uh, as the default text, we're just going to leave it as message for now. Right, uh, same again, font option, we're going to give it aerial, rotation, give it aerial, and we're going to set the size to 20. Do a comma and say FG for foreground, right, and this one is going to be purple, so which is going to keep it purple, and then we're going to say pad Y. So we want it to be slightly below the button, so we're going to give pad Y to 20, so that way it's a little bit, there's a little bit of gap between this one and the button, right. So as you can see, we've got our button there, we have our label, but if I run this at the moment, nothing really happens, right? And that's because we haven't really run anything there and we haven't packed the GUI. So after we do the GUI um, configuration, we also need to pack it so it displays to the root, right? So there's two ways to pack things on Tkinter. One is we can simply use the pack function that will automatically place it 
uh, one object and then below it you will place the second object uh, you also have the option to pack it in a frame pack it in a grid and we will explore all of those things in a future tutorial so for now we're just going to do the most basic one we'll say clicking button dot pack like so and then run the function there and we also say show info dot pack and then run the function there as well right after that we'll say root dot main loop Okay, so that's basically going to load up all the GUI stuff, take all the information from here, and then show it to us. So if I run this again, so here it is. Right now we have the button clicker, the message box is there, the button is there, and everything else. Okay, looks really good. Right, so one more thing that we're going to need at the moment is the function, right? So the button is not doing anything in the moment because there's no function to do anything for. So I'm going to do a comma here uh, inside of the brackets preferably, right? And then go here and say command. And we'll create one that basically says click button. So instead of saying clicking button, say click button, right? And we're going to add the function here, right? So dev. Now always remember, you need to add the function before the element's been configured, okay? So then it will be added above them. So, okay, we're going to say click button. Make sure the name is matching. Okay, and then right after that, here we're going to say global to number. So this number here at the moment is a outside the function, so we need to link it to inside the function so we can change the stuff inside of it, all right? And then we're going to say if with each click we're going to say number is going to be plus equals to one right so we, we can add one to the number and then we can say show info and we want to access this text so we want to change the text property of this label here right so one way to do this is going to be with the uh, do a square brackets here inside the square brackets we're going to want to access the text option right so inside the text option there we're going to say Right here, say you clicked, right, and then plus. Now, this one here is an integer, so we need to convert it to a string first before we can display it, right? So, we're going to display it there, right, and then say plus types. Now, remember that this one has a space here and also a space there, otherwise, it's going to be all squished together, okay? So, let's try this now and see how this turns out move it from here all right look at that so i clicked it one time click away so this has been our first example of how to make a tkinta app we're going to be building up on tkinta going forward so hopefully you can join us for that one please make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one